Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a demo of the game Love. And um, the game is roughly about finding these tokens. So I'm going to grab this token and I'm going to run away a little bit. And I'm going to start by building something in this world. So this is a not so massively multiplayer online game. You play about 200 people registered on one server and you play together cooperatively. And um, I'm going to bring out the object that I just picked up and I'll place it over here. Now this object is a monolith that creates my uh, settlement. So around this area I can now build, I can do stuff, I can bring in objects. So what I want to do is find more of these tokens and grab them and place them in my city. So I'm going to do that. This is a radio for instance. So once you get a radio object like this you can actually go up to it and press uh, one of your number keys to put it in your inventory slot. So I'm going to put this in my third slot and um, that's kind of it. So <clears throat> since this is a demo, I want to speed it up a little bit. This is obviously an adventure game that you can play for hours and hours and hours. I'm going to cheat a lot. So I'm going to cheat and bring up this little cheating menu down here and take out some tools that I want. And one of the tools that I want to show is just the editing tool that allows you to just edit the environment. So you can just grab the ground like this and pull it up and build stuff. And not only can you build stuff, you can make holes in them. So you can make little walls. You can uh, dig down if you want to. So I can start building some sort of cave here. So here's my old cave. Um, so you can build your own cities and things like that. It's kind of fun. Um, you can walk up to a wall and just start clicking and you know making holes. So now we have a little room here. So um, you can't build anywhere. You can only build around this monolith in this immediate area. If you could build anywhere, you could probably destroy the world pretty badly. So um, just to uh, show you what you can do, I'm going to build some infrastructure and show you some of the gameplay systems that, that this game has. So I'm going to bring up a object which is called a cable relay. There we go. And I'm going to place it right here. So this is a cable relay. I'm going to bring out a tool that allows me to configure this. And here I can see the, the uh, coordinates of where this cable re relay is. So I'm going to um, click on the little save button here, little plus, and now it's saved the position of that. Now if I look down here in my tool, I can actually find a little icon that is always pointing towards this point in the world. Let's move away. Oh, the sun is coming up. Mm, nice. So while waiting for that, let's create another relay over here, bring up the menu, and I'm going to use that coordinate that we had earlier. So now I created this cable. Yay! I can jump up on it and I can use it to travel. Whee. So this is one very simple way you can build infrastructure in your city. And I'm going to build some more infrastructure. Um, let's build a force field. Now the force field is something you'll get pretty late in the game so it's not something everyone will have but I'm cheating so we can throw one up. Now interestingly it's the sunset right now and I'm gonna throw up a power source. Now this power source is a windmill. Now as it happens we're doing some having some good timing here because right now in the morning and the evening there is um, there's no wind. You can see all the air is standing still, so it doesn't actually rotate. So now, when the actually the day breaks and going into day, it starts spinning around. So now it starts to produce power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my binoculars. I'm going to use the binoculars to look at this object, and now from afar I can just record its position. Get another little icon here down that shows where where it is, and I can put that into this. Uh, little configuration display. Woo! Oops, I just died. I'm getting attacked. We'll have to do something about that later on. So now we can see this thing is powering my force field. So now everything within it is protected. The force field isn't very big because this is not a very good um, power generator, but if I put more power on it, it'll grow bigger. So that's a cool thing you can build. So let's build something more. I'm going to build a bomb. So here is a bomb, and I'm going to place it on the ground, here we go, say over here. So let's configure that. Now it has a frequency here, so I can just set a random frequency. I'll set that one, and then I'll add it to my inventory just to save the frequency. Let's 
pretty nice so I don't have to remember it. And then I can add a keyword. So I'm going to say, hey, that's my keyword. And I'm going to save that as well. So now I save my keywords. I don't actually have to remember it. Now I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to choose the radio that I picked up earlier. So now I can change this frequency of the radio. If I set any frequency, anyone else who has the same frequency will read my chat messages. So I can use chat, blah, 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 and they will be able to read it. So now I'm going to chat on a specific uh, frequency, namely the frequency that we set the bomb to. So I'm going to click on the frequency key, and that sets it to uh, 104.3 megahertz, which is what I had on the bomb. And then I can actually click on the key and then just add my keywords into the word that I'm going to say. So just by pressing enter now, the bomb will go off because the bomb is actually listening to that frequency for that specific keyword. To make it even more convenient, I can actually click over here for the message and save that. So now I have a little button here. I can just press it at any time I want to send the message, which makes the bomb go off. I can even uh, put a... Uh, keystroke on it so that I can bind it to say the T key and now I can just press the button whenever I want to to have this thing explode. Whee. So this is fun but let's make it even more fun. Um, I'm going to build a object that is a proximity sensor. I'm going to place it around here in the stairs. I'm going to bring up the configure menu. I'm going to set the uh, frequency to the same frequency. And then I'm going to set the keyword to the same keyword. And all of a sudden, we hear explosions in behind. That's because this object will actually look for anyone being really close to it. And when I go close to it, it will actually start sending out this message that will make the bomb go off. So you can see I, I'm actually reading sensor alert, hey, my name, and then the position of where I'm at. So this kind of infrastructure allows you to build pretty complex systems. You can be, build turrets. You can build buttons. You can build all kinds of interesting things and power generators and what have you. And um, that will actually teach you a lot about how the, the, the technology in this world works. And so that's really useful. And how is it useful? Let's go out into the world and find out. I'm going to cheat a little bit now and bring out a really nice gun because uh, I'm going to need one. So here's my uh, uh, slug rifle. Yay! So now you can see this is a huge city here, and this city is actually starting to send rockets in my way. Whee! It's a pretty angry city. And um, you can see it has a bunch of defense system that is currently working against me. But these all require power, and they require um, coordinates, and they require different things in the infrastructure. So just by learning how the infrastructure works, you as a player can actually figure out how to beat these systems. So for instance, if you come across a turret that is powered by a windmill, you know that the windmill doesn't work at dawn and dusk. So you can just wait until that moment and use that moment to take your chance and, and get past the, the fences. So I'm going to run around here. Now we're actually at the top of the world, so there's a lot of ice here. But uh, let's see what we can find. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of an area around here. Some bad guys. Good that I have the ultimate firepower. Um, and here you can see actually the AI is manufacturing power-ups. Now, this may make your AI characters um, that you're fighting really, really powerful. So you might want to take out the, the manufacturing. So you follow the uh, lines and you figure out how the infrastructure work and it gives you a way of, of uh, beating the enemy. And there's lots of building blocks that you can use. Like this, for instance, this is a... Uh, um, a relay that has a breaker on it. If you shoot at the breaker, you can cut the relays uh, the way that it um, relays power. And sometimes, I'm going to fly a little bit here, you can get combinations of the two. So right now, we're actually hitting, there's a windmill over here, and that windmill is actually normally powering over here, let's see, a force field. And this force field normally protect this breaker. So right now I can shoot out the breaker. And it was just in time before the force field came back because the windmill started working again. So this is a typical problem where you would have, uh, you would have to wait to a certain moment in order to uh, attack uh, something that is hidden by this force field. 
So these worlds are completely generated. They're built um, by the computer and they actually respond to what the players do. So if the players, for instance, would start attacking the world, you know, from one direction, um, the city might decide to start put up defenses in that direction and, and actually do something about it. So they will respond to, to, to the player's actions. Um, the game has a bunch of different areas, so now we're going into this sort of desert, mountain, rocky area. And um, as you play, they will all change slowly, slowly. So if you play every day, you'll see a little bit of new content every day. You'll recognize most of it, but there will always be new stuff to do. So that's my introduction to love, and I hope you enjoyed it.